let us continue and once we have created our type adapter and we have registered the type adapter for the student LED so the next step is to open our box and start working with the student box so let's go and create a new await function over here and call the hype dot open box and we want to open the box let's call it as a students and we have opened our box over here and the next thing is we'll go to the student uh, page over here and let's go on to these uh, and let's create a let's create a object box over here so i'll create a lid and let's call it as a box box and this will be type of let's say a student box and i will also create a init state over here and in this init state i'll initialize the my student box over here so let's say a student box that we have student box and which is of equals to the i need to hive dot the box and get the students i guess the name is correct because i need to use the same name as i have opened a box over here so that should be fine i guess now once we have a student box and the next thing is that we we will try to read a we will try to read this particular value from this box so let's go and create a, i guess we'll create I think we'll create a scaffold over here and uh, we don't need uh, the header or the the title and all of those stuff because we already have created that one in our main that that file right and we already have a register here so we don't need and since this is a button navigation so we don't have to add it and the next thing is we will just add the body over here and then body we will just get the list view uh, let us make use of a list view builder and this builder will take the context right so context and the index and we have to return some widget from here okay that's good so now once we have this uh, uh, item builder and we also need to pass in the item count over here so it takes the item count and we need to get the count of the list so how do we get the the length of the list that we have inside the hive box so we have a student box so we can make use of the student box that we have that the length and it will give us the item count for our list view and uh, here i'll create a final and student and which is of equals to uh, we get it the value from the student box so student box dot get you can see that we have a get which requires a key since we don't have a key we will use an index so get add and pass in the index that we have and we need to cast this as as a student is it a student so student student right let's import it okay so now this should be of a student object if i didn't cast it is it going to get okay so is it a student box no it's a dynamic so if i try to register this one as a student over here and that should give us a student okay it's a nullable type okay that's fine we have a student object over here and then we can return from here let's return a card and let's try to create a card and let's have a card and it has a child and in the child let me create a column so we have a column let me arrange it properly i guess that should be fine and let's go and create the text so let's show the sorry it should be for children first of all and then we'll just create some of the text that is required so first thing that we get the student and we can just say that we have a student that dot the we can get the id and let's just convert it to, to a string and that should be fine this is a nullable type is it nullable type yeah I, and i think i'll just make use of a as student two over here so we don't have to 
have a nullable type over there so let's have all of those and we need a id name and we also need a age right and then we have a subject yeah so that should be fine for our card we just need the id name age and the subject we just need to show this in our list and i guess after this i can also register for the um can i raise i think i'll register for the floating action button so i can click on that floating action button and go to the another page to the add our student right so we need to add and then we can only get because we haven't added any any of the object over here so we need to go uh, we need to have some place or a form that we can fill in and add in that object right so let's create a floating action button floating action button that extended i'll create it let me arrange it properly so and press we need to pass in the function call over here and, and then we have a label it takes our widget so i need to create a text over here and i guess it should be of a const type of the text and then we will pass in the object as let's say um let's say uh, add that should be fine and let's also add the icon icon and this is the type of the widget too so i need to have a icon and then i can register the icon start let's say uh, add and it should be a uh, const too so i guess that should be fine and when we click on this we need to navigate to the another page and that one we have to create a new page so uh, i guess i'll just copy the same object and paste it over here and let's rename this one to add underscore student page student page dot the dot and let's rename this one to add and here add you will just say add here too we have to make it as an add and here is it okay so i guess that should be fine so we have an add screen and uh, later we'll change this to the another form for now what we need to do is uh, we need to go back to the student page and when we click on it we want to navigate to that particular screen so uh navigation maybe i did the uh, navigation dot the i think why i cannot get that navigation and not the navigation navigator right so the navigator dot the push and i'll just push it to the another route so material page material page route right and i need to pass in the builder and the context and then i will i think context is not required we are not passing anything regarding the context sorry it's i can remove this and just pass in the underscore and here we will call that the add student add the student screen and i'll just pass in the const so that should be fine and let me try to check why we are getting an error do you have any error okay so let me arrange it properly okay so i haven't closed it here so that's fine so what we will do now is uh okay so let's try to run our application i guess that should be fine oh i get some error over here and it says that i need to increase my minimum uh sdk version to uh, 18. so um that may be the plugin issue so let's go back to the um, the android folder and uh, let's go to the app and the build at gradle file so let's change our uh, version over here so where is that particular version so minimum sdk version i need to change it to let's give a 21 so i think 21 should be fine and let's try to uh, run the app again okay so i cannot run it directly from here so i need to open the dot file and run it 
okay so the app is already open and running let us go to the student okay so we get the error and what is the error is the hive error it's coming from the hive and it says the box student is already open and it's registered with the type of the dynamic so did we okay so here we are passing and registering it with as the type of the student so let's go back to the main that that file and how did we register okay so here we haven't registered the type so we can register the type of the object as the student over here and let's try to rebuild our application and let's go it okay so we are good to go now so when if you haven't registered the proper type it will be of a dynamic and here we are registering as a type as a student so it did not match so that's why it gave us an error that it was not registered we're using a dynamic not as a student object right so you need to match the same when you register it over here okay that's fine and now let's try to add and we went to the another screen that's good right so uh what we need to do now is we need to implement the form in our add a student and we will use that to add our record inside the hype box so let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day